Hey everybody, welcome to TGI Fantasy, where we are playing Final Fantasy VII. New game? Yep. Oh, oh, oh spoilers, we're playing on the PlayStation 4. Is this the remake, Joe? <laughs> I think so. Yeah. But we're, we're playing it in honor of the remake because it got us so excited at E3. It has a release date. In, in less than a year, we will be playing the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Provided it does not get delayed. Outer space. I'm not sure if it is outer space. Or the live stream or something? I'm not sure. Because when the, they start floating up, Air, uh, Eris is looking at that, I don't know, like Mako, Mako Leak or whatever. Mm. Mak Mako. I should say Mako. I was thinking. Is it Mako in Advent Children or something? Uh, I think it's pronounced Mako. I've always thought of it as Mako. Oh, there she is. Man, what if you could play a game that looked as good as this? It's pretty interesting that you, this is the first face you see in the whole game. Yeah. Goblin's Bar. Loveless. I wonder if you'll be able to go see Loveless um, in the remake. Yeah. That shot's uh, recreated in uh, probably CG or really very, very good looking graphics in, in the remake. Yeah. We advise everybody to just stop what you're doing now, and if you haven't already, go watch the new Final Fantasy VII trailer. And there's a couple. Watch the E3 2019 official trailer. <laughs> nice transition there. Yes. <laughs> Come on, newcomer. Follow me. Uh, so I've never played through the whole game in HD before. And Jacob has. Mm -hmm. So this will be new to me. Ex-soldier. And this is something that I really wanted to do. Uh, I just got so excited after E3 and I just thought, man, I really want to go and play <laughs> the original. <laughs> So this will be a weekly show on Fridays, um, and we may take some breaks in between, uh, you know, major sections, or, or just whenever we feel like to just, you know, play something else for a little bit, but ideally, I think the goal is to play through this whole game. Yeah. I mean, it's on, nice. on my bucket list to play it again for the 15th time. <laughs> for the 7th time, Joe. Final Fantasy VII. Stay on brand. Stay on brand. Hello? Talk to me. Talk to me, Gomez. Wow, you used to be a soldier, huh? Not every day you find uh, one in a group like Avalanche. Soldier? Aren't they the enemy? What's he doing with us in Avalanche? He was in soldier, Jesse. Uh, but he quit and, and is with us now. I didn't get your name. Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's be Cloud. Uh, select? Yes. Cloud. <laughs> I, I shouldn't be Cloud. You should be No, cloud. you should be Cloud, because I'm Barrett. You, we, I don't want to talk to myself about Cloud, eh? Um, I don't care what your names are. Once this job's over, I'm out of here. The hell you all doing? I thought I told you never to move in a group. Our target is a North Mako reactor. We'll meet on the bridge in front of it. Just I, say Mako. I'm just gonna say Mako. Ex-soldier, huh? I don't trust ya. Nice. Carry. <laughs> <laughs> Press the direction button while pressing circle to run. 
Whoa. Yeah. Well, I'm just Iconic. So I know, I know. I love that they recreated that shot in the new trailer. Man, you know, especially for the time, 1997, you know, pioneering a lot of this shit. Mm -hmm. I mean, some of it had been done, pre-rendered backgrounds with Resident Evil and, you know, Alone in the Dark before that, but just on the scale and the scope, uh, these shadows look like garbage. <laughs> That's well, not how they looked. I think, they're, they I think look. they're pretty accurate. That's not how they looked in the original. They weren't good in the original. I mean, they were... At least they were sort of blurry. Mm -hmm. This would look silly. I mean, it's it's really like... I think representing our our just big ego. <laughs> our, bi our, our shadow needs to be big. I'll be Wedge. I'll secure our escape passage. You concentrate on the mission, Cloud. Jeez... We're really gonna blow this huge furnace up? This'll be something to see! Nice, Morty. I mean, that's kind of how he was in that uh, one trailer. Kind of which, uh, shove it up your butt. <laughs> it's so no. crazy to be back. I love, I, I think, you know, Final Fantasy VII really did, uh, set itself apart from the other games aesthetically. You know, Final Fantasy VI, you're getting into steampunk, um, you know, there's there's guns and cannons and things, but this is like this total... Um, it's it's really, I think, where sci-fi starts to work its way into Final Fantasy. Um, I mean, in like a bigger way. Like, the before, there's always been science fiction elements, even since the first one, um, but this is where it was mostly science fiction. Yo, this is your first time in a reactor? No, after all, I did work for Shinra, you know. The planet's full of Mako energy. People here use it every day. It's the lifeblood of this planet, but Shinra keeps sucking the blood out with his weird machines. I'm not here for a lecture. Let's just do it. Alright, you come with me from now on. I will just, uh... I'll walk into you. I'm just I'm gonna... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> hide, hide in your vest. <laughs> Alright, uh, Jesse. Biggs, Biggs and I got the code for this door. Cool. Code deciphered. Bum, 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 bum. Code deciphered. Um... Think how many, uh, think how many of our people risk their lives just for this code. Well, that kind of suggests that there's other members of Avalanche. Yeah. It'd be, I mean, it seems like it's... I mean, I guess, yeah, you don't really meet other members, do you? Music, dude. Yeah. Weep, weep, weep. You know what this music reminds me of? That episode of Spongebob where Mr. Krabs steals the boots? What, the squeaking? <laughs> yeah. Push the button over there. It's nice to see, like, they, these visuals so clean. Mm -hmm. Because I'm so used to them being super, super low res. Little by little, the reactors will drain out all the life. Then that'll be that. Not my problem. The planet's dying, Cloud. The only thing I care about is finishing this job before security and the Robo Guards come. Why are Robo Guards capitalized? It's like RoboCop. Oh, like Robo Guard TM. The first time you played, did you realize? And this might be too hard to remember, but did you realize that Barrett was missing a a hand there from his like Popeye arms? Oh well, I mean. Uh, this time I'd already immersed myself in all of the marketing material. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the internet was still early days, but you could still look at concept art and shit. So I knew he had a gun arm. Oh. Uh, although, you know, it would probably be hard to know until you got him in battle. Yeah, and I mean, it, oh, well, wait, right now, we'll find out. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oh, 
um, it's pretty cool to see uh, a game like this that's just so crazy with enemy designs and just so many weird things. Very inventive. Um, and I think it was that that team with um, uh, with Katase, um, you know, starting with six, that when Final Fantasy got inventive, when Sakaguchi took a step back um, and let Katase and Ito take over, that things got like weird and interesting. Mm hmm. Um, when did that happen around the time of six? Well, yeah, that it happened with Six, specifically. Uh, and although there had been other directors, is that Sakaguchi was sort of helming everything. Um, and, uh, like, when he passed it to the, the next generation, did you, did you get the really good stuff? Mm-hmm. And some people still, you know, like, their favorites five or four, but... Yeah, I mean, I, I like those games too. Like I've I've been playing these since the very original when the original was new. Mm, um, humble brag. Well, I mean, it's I just at right time, right place. Uh, question. Yes. Do we want on this playthrough because we are playing the PlayStation Four version? We have the the cheat. How, how how soon before we dive into like the no battle speed up stuff? Oh shoot! I don't know. Whenever it's convenient. I mean, what these are all. That? I can't remember. That's time sp oh, oh right. I accidentally, uh, <laughs> I was trying out the things and then I, I botched it. Okay. Um, I accidentally, so basically there's cheats that you just activate with, uh, clicking in the sticks. And one of them is give you li your limit, one is three times speed, and one is no random battles. Well, I think our metric should be, um... One might be, like, getting you to level 99, that might also be your limit break one. Uh, isn't that the door there at the bottom of the stairs? You see it? Oh. Yeah. Um... I think also, yeah, yeah. if you if you click that in, it makes it a little easier. The, um, I think our metric for when the cheats should come on is when it's, like, unwatchable <laughs> for the people at home. Yeah. Because we've, we've done this shit so many times before. For sure. Nice. Yeah, we know. You just told us. Tutorial crap. Not interested. <laughs> yeah, definitely, um, I... Final Fantasy VII, uh, isn't necessarily my favorite Final Fantasy game. One of my favorites, for sure. Uh, one of my favorite. yeah. Not my, my absolute favorite, but... Um... I set the promotional art for Tifa that was sh oh um that's awkward uh, I guess uh, the middle save huh yeah hallway I win yeah you probably have more than three saves though oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know why you had you know I, you I thought it was just limiting me to three for whatever reason Bum, bum, bum. Well, now you can see my other data. Got a little spoiler. Uh, but I, yeah, I set the promotional art for the Tifa's new look as my my desktop background. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good design. Um, I was curious though when uh, they had re released the remastered version of this, uh, why the uh, battles weren't taken up to 60 frames per second because these are still fif 15 frames. Mm, I, it's probably something to do with like how the yeah animations or the, how the animation. That's what I had come down on. That that's just how the animations are coded for 15 frames per second. And that's we don't know anything about game design or programming, so that's possible there was some other reason. But yeah, I'm I'm just uninformed guess. Um, and I've heard about stuff like that happening. One thing I do want to point out, because you've been talking up how crisp it is, we aren't recording this, capturing this footage at 1080p, just because our computer isn't like the strongest computer, and it often buckles if we try to record at too high of a quality of footage. So just, just for ease and ensure that this turns out all right, hopefully, uh, not to jinx it, uh, we're recording at 720. <gasps> 
Restore materia? Equip it. Equip, bro? Uh, does it do it through magic? Oh. No. Oh, maybe you have to... Oh. Oh, it's on your weapon and armor. That's right. Yeah, but I don't you... equip... No, I don't equip it from there. Oh, maybe, maybe the materia it's, it's right here. Maybe. Oh, okay. We'll just have to do that later then. When we blow this place, it ain't gonna be nothing more than a hunk of junk. Clown, you set the bomb. Sound like you said clown. <laughs> Shouldn't you do it? Just do it. I gotta watch to make sure you don't pull nothing. Fine, I'll do it. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> watch out. This isn't just a reactor. What's wrong? Huh? What's wrong, Cloud? Hurry it up. Yeah, sorry. I like how much character there's, like, introduced and weaved into the dialogue. Like, there's just a lot of personality to it. You know, you almost want to read it with a exaggerated voice. Heads up, here it comes. Was that Cloud who said that, or was that Barrett? Barrett? I don't know. I thought it was said Barrett. Yeah, I think it's Barrett. In the new promotional material, it's Cloud that says, here it comes. Oh. Is this Let's Play series going to just be us <laughs> comparing it to <laughs> the, what we know of the remake? I mean, you know, the, I sorry, that's just kind of the excitement right now. Yeah. Uh, and if anybody knows it, uh, doesn't know it at home, the first, traditionally the first boss in a Final Fantasy game has uh, this gimmick where there's a point in the battle where you're supposed to not attack them or it will punish you. Punisher. Um, like the the Mist Dragon from Final Fantasy IV or the, I don't know, what, whatever that snail thing was <laughs> called in six. Yeah. And this. And I think that... Watch its tail, Cloud. Oh, is that what... Sorry, I missed it. No, it didn't say that. I'm just... I'm just speaking. Its its arms look like airbrush... Uh, airbrushes. Oh, like it goes around like graffitiing the city? Oh, yeah. I mean, you, if you were do, gonna do an airbrush, you'd need like that... Uh, oh! Air tank. Oh. Damn it. Oh, attack while it's tail set? It's gonna counterattack with... Oh. Mm. Yeah, fuck. Uh oh, here it comes. Tail laser. We might have to use some medicine. Ouch. Hey, well, Barrack has limit break. Big shot. Oh, wait, wait. no, what, what are you doing? <laughs> are you I trying forgot. To, are you trying to lose this very easy, <laughs> like. <sighs> it's alright. Oh, hey, Vey. I just got excited. I was like, I want to use Big Shot. Because you're a big shot. Ain't ya? Okay, it's tails going down. Limit. Braver. Brave. Nice. Uh, I don't think I need to heal. I think we're good. Yeah, we'll probably be alright. Although we will have to fight all the way out. Yeah, we can heal after. There we go. A bolt will do it. Da, 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 da. What's your thoughts on uh, Cloud knowing Ice and uh, Bolt at the beginning? Um, come on, let's get out of here. Like, what do you mean? Because his name is Cloud? No, just like the like the the lore. Um, oh, that he, that's the materia he has equipped? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, mostly what I'm trying to refer to, I guess I could just say. Uh, I, I was meaning, um, uh, like, this idea that your character isn't just starting from zero. They have already learned some spells, and I don't, and we started, like, with some experience already. We were pretty close to a level up right as the game started. I think that's cool, rather than starting zero XP, 
um, you know, level one, no nothing in your inventory. Um, yeah, I, I think I watched a good extra credits about um, storytelling through mechanics. Uh, you know, for instance, uh, they had given the example um, of your character, the courier from Fallout New Vegas. Just how meaningful that in the story, like you're you're a delivery person who's then shot in the head and left for dead um, and then resurrected. But uh, the extra credits folks had thought it was a missed opportunity to just have, you know, just something in your inventory that could have given some sort of clue to your former life because you're supposed to have like amnesia or something afterwards. So mm -hmm. essentially you're a blank slate. But for in-universe reasons, is you know, give you a pack of playing cards. Like, what could that say about your your personality? You all right? My leg got stuck. Thanks. If you, I, what if you don't save her right there? Got I think it. she gets away anyway. Okay. Just, you just feel bad about yourself. Uh, I mean, I think the the thing with like having something in your inventory could also have a negative effect potentially, especially when it's. A silent protagonist that's supposed to be you um, because it's like well this character is me making decisions I would make I would never carry I hate playing you know playing cards but like the thing is, is who you were before you got shot in the head like, oh, that's, guess, like that yeah. person is gone yeah I, I mean I think there's an, arg an argument to be made for sure but like then you there is the other side of that where you have like in Fallout 4 like a bunch of needless sort of oh, backstory like a, where, attachments and yeah where it kind of then detracts from your freedom in this world of doing whatever you want to do you have like uh, these other obligations but I mean I, I think it's uh, the the playing card example for uh, Fallout New Vegas would have been subtle <laughs> uh, yeah when done right it's subtle yeah it's, I don't think there's anything particularly subtle about Fallout 4 <laughs> And I'm not, by the way, I'm not saying, too, that uh, having a character with family ties and other commitments is a bad thing, necessarily. Code deciphered. Uh, like, I love that Geralt is his own person. Yeah, and it's mostly, like, when the, there's, like, this weird in-between. The writers can't decide if they want a silent protagonist who's meant to be you. And, or, no, and nobody's being served. Yeah, or a character who is pre-designed has their own thoughts on things. Wow, Jesse just keeps fucking falling down. <laughs> hey. You're one to judge. Oh, yeah, that's true. Woohoo! It's such a unique way to start this game of, you're a terrorist group, go blow up a section of this city. <laughs> yeah. That should keep the planet going at least a little longer. Yeah. Uh. Okay, now everyone get back. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Simmer salt now. <laughs> All right, Wedge. All right, now let's get out of here. Rendezvous at Sector 8 Station. Split up and get on the train. Hey. If it's about your money, wait till we get back. <laughs> it was about her money, I guess, huh? <laughs> I want my money. Ooh, 625. Whamming. Excuse me. What happened? <laughs> you um, better get out of here. Yeah. Really? I don't know what's going on, but all right. I thought she sold us a flower. Maybe if you like hit on her. Oh. <laughs> That's such a weird animation, but I Oh well, yeah, it. you can see the uh, paint on, on top of the 3D models.
What? Ah, oh, man, I love this city. Yeah, it's gonna be it's a real treat to explore it uh, in the remake. I wonder what that is on the wall over there. Let's see. Don't be fooled by Shinra. Mako energy doesn't last forever. Mako is the planet's life source. The end is in sight. Protectors of the planet, Avalanche. Just like such calm music they're playing. Hey, you there! Shinra soldiers. Uh, later. Hold! Uh, later. Later! <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> That's as far as you go. I don't have time to mess around with you guys. Enough babbling. Grab him. <laughs> he smacks into the arch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just ha his legs sta left standing there. His torso is thrown up. Uh, it, it's something that to pay attention for. Oh, let's see this. Cloud never came. Something to be attention uh, to pay attention for is like you can see as the the developers as they're learning C like how to make CG like through this game and yeah. like so like there's some CG models. Uh, and some CG cutscenes that look absolutely terrible, and then some that look yeah pretty good, you know, like you can almost feel them learning. Well, and that's this thing. exactly what happened. It, I've seen a lot of developer interviews. That's you, this was all 3D tech was all new to this team, and they were learning it as they went. But they kept all of the stuff. <laughs> yeah. Cloud, think he was killed? No way. Cloud. Oh, I think he died. Yep. Game over. Say, do you think Cloud's gonna stay on and fight for Avalanche? How the hell would I know? Do I look like a mind reader? Huh. If you all want such screw-ups. Hey, Barra, what about our money? <laughs> oh, no, nothing, sorry. Ah! I don't know who said that. I don't think they knew either. <laughs> Cloud. Cloud Looks like I'm a little late You damn right you're late Come waltzing in here making a big scene It's no big scene Just what I always do Fuck <laughs> Having everyone worried like that You don't give a damn about no, no one but yourself you were worried about me? What? That's coming out of your share, hot shot. Wake up. We're moving out. Follow me. Hey, Cloud. You were great back there. Shut up, Wedge. <laughs> Cloud, we'll do even better next time. Think of the people would blow up. <laughs> Careful, I'll shut this. Oh, Cloud, your face is pitch black. There you go. Oh. Say, thanks for helping me back there at the reactor. I wonder if she doesn't wipe your face if you're if you don't help her. That. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, I really hope nothing bad happens to her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was just so surprised that none of these characters were in Advent Children. What's that about? Yeah. Last train out of Section 8 Station. Last stop is Sector 7, Train Graveyard. Expected time of arrival is 12.23 a.m. Midgar Standard Time. <laughs> Whoa. Those were cool people. I guess that's funny. Like, they, they recognize us as Avalanche, or at least bad news, and they get out of there. This is why I hate the last train. Oh boy. Uh, you know what's when uh, on the PlayStation original, it was so low res, it just looked like a bunch of like colors moving around on the screen. <laughs> just couldn't see. Oh, this is my house, so make yourselves at home. 
Oh, you see the headlines of the Shinra Times? The terrorists that bombed the number one reactor are based somewhere in the slums. Blowing up a reactor, they sure put some thought into this one. They must have a real calculating leader. I wonder what they'll do next. Hmm. Stop acting like a damn kid. Sit down and shut up. Oops. Please don't bother the other passengers. This train hasn't switched to security mode yet. I'm sure that will change by tomorrow. Someday Avalanche will, uh, Avalanche is gonna be famous. And me too! Hey Cloud, you wanna look at this with me? It's a map of the Midgar rail station system. Let's look at it together. I'll explain it to you. I like this kind of stuff. Bombs and monitors, you know? Flashy stuff. Cool. Okay, it's about to start. Whoa. This is a complete model of the city of Midgar. It's about one uh, ten thousandth scale. <laughs> the top plate is 50 meters above ground. A main pillar supports the plate in the center, and there are other supporting pillars built in each section. The number one reactor we blew up was in the north section. Then there's the number two, number three, all the way up to number eight reactor. The eight reactors provide Midgar with electricity. Each town uses, used to have a name, but no one in Midgar remembers them. Instead of names, we refer to them by numbered sectors. That's how things turned out. Whew, look what's next, look! This is the route this train is on. The route spirals around the main pillar. We should be coming around the center right now. Each checkpoint has an ID sensor device. It checks the identities and backgrounds of each passenger on the train and is linked up to the central data bank at Shinra, headqu Shinra headquarters. We definitely look suspicious, so we're using fake IDs. I'm um, Strodelheim Reinbach the <laughs> third. Speak of the devil. That light means that we're in the ID security check area. When the lights go off, you never know what kind of creeps will come out. We're almost back now. What a relief. Yeah. Um, do you want to pinch it off now? And then uh, next time we'll get back to Tifa's seventh heaven. Ooh, little tease of what's to come. Yeah. We thank you very much for watching TGIF, and we hope to see you next Friday for another episode of Final Fantasy VII. Bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>